33. Do you like my new intro? <laughs> Mo had to get in on the act. Anyway, today uh, we're going to be looking at these things, taps again, and it's, it's getting the tops off them without marking them. Now I've got this old one from a garage, it's already been badly marked and knocked about, but this is just to show you the problems that we're getting. Now, the kind of thing that's happening is, is a, a couple of pictures that I've had sent through from one of my subscribers here. So I'll show you the pictures on my computer first to explain quite what is happening. Here we are then, this is the kind of thing that is happening. I have to say thanks to Don there for letting me use his pictures. And as you can see, the brass is worn away on the shoulders where the spanner has been relentlessly pulled to try and undo it and obviously in a basin it's not much room to pull the spanner around anyway on top of that the tap tries to turn with you when you do it as well so it leaves you in a real predicament especially when it ends up like that and you've got no shaft now for the spanner to latch onto I'll show you another picture you can see again quite how badly worn that tap is so I'll show you a picture of the taps that Don was trying to get these lids off of if you like we call them lids but they're the brass tops <laughs> there's the taps that Don has and as you can see they're going to be tight to the wall so there's not much room for a spanner to move and as you move the spanner around you're going to hit that spout so there's not much to latch onto that plus the angle it's coming out at like this means that the spanner room that you can get that on is only a tiny bit of the actual brass shank there so obviously in the end you're going to round that off like what's happened there so there's not many old things you can do but you, there are some tools that may get them off for you we'll show you them and go through it now with the tap that I've got which isn't these but I'm just going to use it as a demonstration for you so here we have just an ordinary little bib tap but the same sort of system inside don't worry about the mixers or anything like that the same kind of thing is going to be with a mixer or this as regards getting the tops off on this particular one this one has a screw even on this part here has got to come off so you can need a good tool for that um, that doesn't slip like pliers are that. they're no good they won't go wide enough see these are a really good tool for getting the top off these are called water pump pliers and you can adjust the doors like so when you've got them about right you know that you can get there on there and get that nut undone Okay, there it goes. So it's simple with the right tools. Okay, and this is the essence of the job the right tools. Okay, they're called water pump pliers. Underneath there, you will then find a screw in there. We can see that, and we'll undo that, and then this head should come off. Now, these tops sometimes are really hard to pull off. If they are, I'm afraid that's when you get the trusty hammer and give it a tap under there. Now, if you're worried about marking it, this is where you need a bit of cloth like so under there and give it a tap up. It's awkward, it's, it's a hassle, but it has to be done. But if they're tight, you just tap gently, turn the tap around another notch, give it a tap, turn it around another notch, give it a tap. Just do it gently, gradually. If you like, you can spray some WD-40 down there, which really helps get these tops off if you've got this type of arrangement. Plenty of that lubricant on everything. It will help. And just keep tapping. Once you do that, it will eventually come away and leave you with that. Now, these little caps, if you've got them, can also be really tight. Now, this one, you can see it's, it's got some burrs and marks on it where it's already been tried to get off. Because if you just get a pair of grips now I'm going to show you these very useful tools called footprints and people have just gone like this you put it straight on the chrome and it will force it to undo but it will leave marks so once again a cloth of some sort of description around there and then put your grips on okay and then undo it but don't try and if you <laughs> if you don't want marks don't just put it on bare like that it will mark it now again with that funny thing that can happen here it can be really tight if you can break the seal that's around there of muck then just a little light tap with a hammer not to mark it just gently right the way around it can break that seal and once that seal is broken then it will go easily uh, and it's just I'm not going to bother the clock it's an old tap but it will just go straight away like that 
very simple gone and that's if you've got that sort of cover okay these little plastic covers that leads us now to the part we're looking at that Don showed us with his taps and this is why I'm saying it doesn't matter I'm showing you this tap or you've got mixers because they all basically got these horrible bodies that are machined into these taps so tight that I have actually come across one where I had to saw it through there drill it through like Don's probably suggesting he does with his tap now because he's given up and then pulled it all out in bits and pieces and bought obviously a couple of new heads uh, for the other tap as well might as well match it up so if you don't <laughs> if you don't want to do all that uh, you could try your best with the right tools to get it out first but obviously when you've gone that far you might as well go and get a set of new taps and save yourself a lot of hassle but if you really love the taps you've got and you don't want to change them like down there then obviously you're going to go to the empty degree to get that out of there now if you look there you can see where some spanner marks have already had a go at it there all right I mean shiny to get this off so this is what people normally use and it is the recommended tool a spanner a good fitting spanner and one that's a decent quality if you've got one with a lot of slack in that jaw it will slip if it slips that's when you start to get this come about this, this sliding on the brass now the, the trouble is the brass on these is not very well made it is soft and it's not really good and hard and durable which is why this sort of thing happens all the time because they're so poor quality that uh, it, they just slip and once it starts to happen you get the trouble so first of all obviously do try a good spanner I always use an adjustable but if you've got one that fits exactly and you've got a motorist car kit well even better but I know that most of you won't have those sort of tools so if you've just got one really decent spanner uh, it's worth going I've got lots of tools in my shop my uh, YouTube, my Amazon shop, I should say, sorry, uh, with a link that it does under the right tools that I recommend. So if you want to buy a link, do go there and have a look. Plus, I'll get 5% of everything you buy. Wow. <laughs> you brought me out all no end. Okay, so let's have a look. Get this nice and tight on here. Now, look, once you've got that spanner on there locked tight, that's a really tight fit, I can see it is. Now, when you go to turn this, especially if it's in a wash basin, I mean, if it's in a sink, it won't matter if it's in a mixer because it won't move, you won't have to hold it. But if you've got taps that move around like this, uh, it will move around. Again, if you've got a mixer in a basin uh, and it's solid through, it's two holes, it, it will true try and turn. It will still try and work like this because usually they're one hole mixer and there's just a bolt through the bottom holding it and it will try to turn but if it's a, a double tap with two holes but it's a mixer then it won't and you can just put the spanner on because you'll have one hole through there and one hole through there it would only be if you really had to mask it that, that you know it would possibly crack the basin <laughs> put too much on it so you've got to be careful if it's a wash basin one now look what you do here if you've got this here and these are my trusty footprints you normally have to hold against but obviously that's going to mark the end of that tab so once again you get a cloth trust a trusty piece of cloth and you put it over the end okay then you get your footprints on the end i know it looks a bit bit, a bit of a muck up here but then you get that like that get your spanner and then turn it and then like that and it won't then mark the end of your tap because that's what we don't want to do so do remember that and once you've got that off well you've got it off okay so we're going to go to the next stage which is what happens if the spanner keeps slipping so i'm going to tighten it back in if it keeps on going around there and the head's gone so there's nothing for the spanner to get onto what we're going to do then mm -hmm. of course last desperation again there's also the use of a blowtorch on there put it on exactly where that join is on the seal uh, but not recommended and if you do use it not too hot please bear in mind it might crack the basin I'm not going to be responsible for that <laughs> for getting it out of the basin but again probably last resort again this is where other tools come into use now these good possibility these grips they are they are quite good and they can get them off because what we're saying here is that the top of this is rounded off so pretend that's rounded off you need to get a grip on just the barrel if you like it's just you're not actually got a nut you've not got a square so you, you can grip it with those and pull it together and 
undo it because it's got a grip but they're not that strong so you've got to remember they are good but on a rounded piece of brass they might still just slip like so just go you know and still not have enough grip but get a good set and they won't they'll, they'll stay on so once again I've got those in my plumber store Amazon my favorite though uh, is these the Stilsons because if that's rounded off these will grip any rounded object I know these are an old-fashioned tool still since they're, you know, you don't see them about much these days. This is a size 10. If you want smaller, size 8 are even more convenient for getting into tight little spaces where you haven't got a lot of room to take that top off. And once again, these will grip because even if that's rounded off, they will bite into the brass and undo it. Okay. Now, another little tip as well, sometimes when you, even when you're trying that and it won't go, is just to give the thing a little tap of the hammer to shock it so that when it's on there, get a hold of the other end, make sure it doesn't swing round, of course, and then just give it a gentle tap, because sometimes that will just crack the seal. Again, put plenty of WD-40 all around it, do what you can that, that way on, and give that a knock, and it, it, it may shift it. Once it's broken, that seal that's been made in there when the factory made the things and probably tightened it in so tight, you think, what the hell, you know, it's never coming out. Once you've broken that seal, it will remove. I mean, I mean I've mean, i even got one set out with using one of these basin spanners because, again, you've got jaws like this. And leverage is all that counts again. Once again, these will kind of bite on the brass because they've got teeth either side. And then you can pull this out. You've got a long lever to, to turn it. Now, so with basin taps, unfortunately, there's not much room when they're up against the wall. But then at least with this, you could come down from the top like so, I'll show you that there. If you were above it, you could come down that way. This is a basin spanner. Uh, it's primarily used to get taps out of sinks. <laughs> Good for taking it out when you want to get rid of it, because <laughs> you can't get it off. So, double use for that one. <laughs> uh, my old favorite, of course, is footprints, but I have found that these do slide on the brass. They do tend to um, just, just let go easily. I mean, I really like these little fun print ones. You know, they are very handy. These are a size 8 and they're very good for getting a grip on there and getting that off. Okay, but that really is about it. They're the kind of tools you need and you really do need uh, good quality stuff, alright, to get these off. Try messing about with cheap tools, you're never going to get it off, alright. So, do have the proper gear and once it's off, you'll look at it and go, hmm, how am I going to get that washer off of there? <laughs> And once again, it's a hassle all the way of old tap. As you can see, that's a nut on there. Spray it all with WD, and once again, get a nice tight fitting spanner, something like that. You can actually get that on the end of there and get a tight grip on it, clean it all off, and then you can you can undo that, it will, it will spin off. That will wash as tight as anything to get out, I will warn you of that. <laughs> always are so once you've got all that then got the right washer on there and we can put it all back in but, I say you can actually buy the heads just these part as well so if you don't want the bottle of all that uh, and you've got that out you can change that especially if you've had to do what Don's gonna do which is cut through it if you imagine he's gonna cut through there and then he's gonna drill holes through it and get it all out in bits if it were so it's got quite a job on it and it is a hassle job so but if you really love the tap, then you know it's worth it to you. But that's the grief you've got just to get to that, all right, and to do it. So a little bit of grief. But there we are, that's it. I just wanted to go through that one because it kind of highlighted to me the other day, uh, as I say, when Dawn sent me that. I thought, mm, actually, that, that would probably make a video that would possibly help you out in times of crisis with taps because we know how they go, don't we? And we do know that these particular taps have a tendency to shut themselves down when you've got to take the serve clip off and refit them because the water's running very slow out of the end. That also is a problem with these particular tops. But there we go. That's another story. <laughs> okay, that's about it though. So, uh, usual place for all my stuff. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Catch you again soon. For our videos, Derrickson 33.